Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, California Weather Watch. Today is March 4th and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop here and you can see all this cold air across the Gulf of Alaska just pumping into California here. Strong frontal system starting to impact the state here. We're going to continue with these rounds of weather through the next few days, including a thunderstorm threat, some really big mountain snows going on, and even some hail and some of those thunderstorms out there. Pretty low snow levels across the state, mainly central and northern California coming up. We'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at the extent forecast as well so it looks like we have a pattern change coming up here a little bit more of a warm southwesterly flow we'll look what the weather models have to say about that i know there's been some hype about potential atmospheric rivers and we'll take a look at that coming up here this is crescent city here south on highway 101 the california highway patrol call, calling for some heavy snow down there actually impacting highway 101 and as you can see it doesn't take much elevation to start to get into some impactful weather out there so have a heads up for that today this is watch for hail uh, national weather service eureka california over the next few days you're gonna have this potential with any of these showers and yeah it can coat the roadway and make things pretty slick there this is the storm timeline here coming up national weather service sacramento saturday through sunday there all the way down to the valley floor across the northern sacramento valley at times snow levels are low big snows incoming all the way through monday you might want to try to wait through tuesday wednesday thursday here before you try to cross some of the higher terrain out there if you can put it off that long this is winter weather advisory for some of the areas across some of the bay just north of the bay area i should say above 1800 feet mainly there so just have a heads up it's important to know your elevation for events like this as well this is looking at highway 41 here and you can see the cross section here of the higher terrain and once you start to get up above 2,000 feet you can start to get that disruptive snowfall going on here and when you get in the really higher terrain there you can see like three to four feet of new snow potential there so just kind of a expectation on what's coming here across some of the terrain as you get higher onto it this is national weather service hanford shown there this is peak wind gusts out into the desert areas and some of the higher terrain all the way through, through southern california California, as these storms move by north, it is going to bring some gusty winds down there. And this might bring some snowfall to the higher terrain as well. Now, looking at current hazards, you can see the winter storm warnings from uh, the entire Sierra Nevada here, all the way through northern California. The winter weather advisories get pretty low towards the coastal areas also. You've got wind advisors across the region here as well. This is the day one through three overall winter storm impacts. Extreme impacts can be expected. You guys know how much snow we have out there across the Sierra Nevada, and we're just going to add and pile on to that, making it very difficult for people who live across the area there and travelers trying to get back and forth. This is day one thunderstorm outlook here. There's day two, very similar, and day three could be extended here as well across much of central or northern California coming up here over the next day or so. This is looking at last night's European run, and you can see the system bearing down big, heavy snowfall across the region here. Additional frontal systems rolling through the area, very cold air aloft. The snow will continue on in through Monday at least here and potentially on in through Tuesday coming up. As you can see, we remain in this troughing position here on in through mid next week before a potential pattern change starts to come. Now, taking a look at the other upper levels of the atmosphere, I like to show this one. This is somewhere up towards 18,000 feet. You can see the very cold air at this polar lobe really impacting the state. And you can see it just kind of hangs out. This trough is pretty persistent here as we go on in through early to mid the next week coming up here. This is 10,000 feet, so we're dropping down in the atmosphere a bit. And you can see that additional frontal system start to move through Saturday night into Sunday morning there. Cold air continues to pump in here across the state. And this NAM 3KM high resolution model goes out about 60 hours. This would be about Monday afternoon here. You can clearly see that cold air is still there. Dropping down a little bit further, 5,000 feet. Initial frontal system is there. You can spot that secondary one embedded back here on in through Sunday morning. Very cold air aloft at 5,000 feet. So giving you a little bit of a three-dimensional diagram there of the temperatures aloft here across the state coming up for the next few days. This is surface base Cape. And if we put this into motion, you can see it does destabilize a bit during this afternoon. And we wane overnight. We bring it back through Sunday. And then on through Monday again. So we're going to have at least three days here of thunderstorm potential of central and northern California coming up here. This is looking at a wider view of things here. 500 millibar temperature. This is what is spawning this storm system into Northern California. And you can clearly see this deep troughing here across Pacific Northwest all the way down through California here. Getting a bit of reinforcement here too as we go on in through midweek before a potential pattern change 
and we'll take a look at that right now this is 200 millibars way up in the atmosphere about 39,000 feet you can see the trough just plainly carved out across the west coast of north america here then you can see the jet stream start to snake across here and kind of bring more of a southwest bit of a warmer flow towards the state of california and that's what we're watching for some potentially increased precipitation amounts here and a, you know a warmer air mass would come into the region with that doesn't look like a sinister atmospheric river right now but things can change quickly and we're just going to point this out to have this in the back of your mind and be prepared if things do change quickly here in the forecast going on through the extended a little bit more here you can kind of see that jet stream continue to point at the west coast of north america so we'll see how this trends in future runs this is accumulated positive snow depth change. So there's already huge amounts across the Sierra Nevada, and this map is not taking that into account. This is what's going to be uh, put on top of that snowpack out there. And as you can see, as we go through Sunday morning, on into Sunday afternoon and Monday, you can see some areas getting over two feet of snow, additional snowpack across some of the region out here. And that's just a huge deal with some areas that are already, you know, snowed in basically out there across the Sierra Nevada, you know, up over two feet for some areas. Additional snowpack there, that is a snow depth change in inches. Now, this is actual snow depth that's going to fall actually i should say snowfall that's coming out of the sky here the nam 3km and as you put this into motion here we go through sunday afternoon big snowfall amounts you can just see some of these totals here i mean it shows 96 is the max there but you can expect snow to be measured again here in feet across a lot of the sierra nevada as we go on in through this weekend towards early next week coming up now taking a look here, this is the European Ensemble mean, last night's run. This goes out 144 hours, but you can see the huge trough here off the west coast of North America. There's Hawaii and California here. Now watch what happens as we start to bring some of this warmer subtropical air towards the region. Right at the end of the run there, you see that pointed at California. We just got to watch that closely. It doesn't look too crazy right now, but things can change quickly. And I just kind of want to keep that in the back of your head without raising a bunch of alarms and causing people to panic as of right now. Now. So you can just kind of see that potential pattern change coming to a warmer air mass towards the state of California. No huge precipitation amounts are showing up in the models just yet. So, you know, just kind of have that in the back of your head. This is looking at heavy snow all the way through early March across some of the Sierra Nevada, Siskiyou's, even the Oregon Cascades up there as well. Pretty chilly across the west also there. This is a 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook. They kind of changed this a little bit further north here. So we'll see how this trends. It doesn't mean too much right now. It's something just to watch here for the increased warmer precipitation amounts potentially moving in through the extended. This is Southwest California climate data for February. Look at LA, three degrees below average there for the mean and well above average precipitation there as well, which was the case for many areas out there. Look at Palmdale. A good, what, 5.2 degrees below average there. So pretty impressively cold winter that we just went through out here across the state of California, which, of course, is very beneficial here. And, you know, it, we the, you saw on the drought monitor here that we've been looking at the, for the last few days and the last few weeks that it's really improved drought conditions. So, again, very beneficial. We'd love to see it. And, yeah, so... There it is. Storm is on the doorstep now. It's going to be impacting the area for the next several days. We'll watch that pattern change carefully. Right now, it doesn't look too sinister. It doesn't look like a huge flooding event and big atmospheric river conditions, but you got to watch it closely because things can still change at this time frame pretty quickly. So we'll continue to watch that. We'll continue to do these daily briefings here and break down what's looking like it's going to come here through the extended forecast. Hope you guys are liking these videos, and um, I did a little weather station video last night here too. If you want to check that out, just go ahead and look in my videos. It's a nice, affordable little weather station here that's got some cool features to it. It does UV index, tells you how strong the sun is, does lightning detection and whatnot. has a nice little ultrasonic anemometer on it. The thermometer is pretty accurate as well. does barometric pressure that's pretty accurate also. So anyway, check that out if you want. Uh, we'll continue to do these day by day. We'll watch that potential for the warm-up coming later on through the period here. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.